Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Joining us this morning are the announcers for the upcoming Army versus Navy football game, Rich DeMarco and Pete Medhurst. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Good morning, Elise. All right, this is the 123rd edition of this game. You have to talk to me a little bit about the history, the rivalry, uh, and what it all means. Well, these are two academies that, you know, know each other very well. You know, many of the uh, student athletes, cadet athletes, midshipmen, uh, they're recruited by both academies. So they know each other so well. It's the 123rd Army-Navy game. And more so than, you know, the, the familiarity between the cadets and the mids, it's the same style of play. Both running triple option, smash mouth football. And it's a lot of fun for football purists, for people who just love rivalry, spectacle, really has something for everyone. Any one team have the edge in this one, you think? Not, not really. I mean, I, I think, again, when you talk about uh, the number of student athletes that, you know, both, as Rich alluded to, they recruit the same kids. These kids are usually a lot of the same size. It's one of the few times all year that they have a game where it's a fair fight. You know, same size, same speed. It just comes down to who executes uh, better coming up on Saturday, but that's what makes it such a close game and what's made it such a thrilling rivalry here of late with a lot of drama I involved in these football games uh, for the entire time. So folks that tune in to Channel 5 on Saturday uh, to watch this game, uh, they're going to want to tune in for the entire three hours because usually they're going to get their money's worth in terms of entertainment for it, that's for sure. Yeah, and you talk about, you know, purists, this being a game for people who just love football. Is there one thing that you think this matchup signifies? I think it signifies, you know, brotherhood, family, and leadership. You know, you start with the march-ons of both academies, the midshipmen and the cadets before the game, the spectacle, then the bitter battle on the field, and then really brothers in arms after the game, really understanding their teammates on the greatest team. So I think that's really the theme of an Army-Navy game. All right, I want to make sure I get this right. Rich, you've been announcing uh, Army games for 19 years, is it? My 19th year, yes. Yeah, and Pete, you've been doing the same for the Navy for 25 years. I mean, uh, in your time doing this, I, I know you have to have some some favorite moments, some standout moments. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any question. I mean, watching guys like uh, Keenan Reynolds uh, and obviously a guy like Malcolm Perry who ran for over 300 yards in this game on the stage uh, just a couple of seasons ago. Uh, it, when you get to call those special moments and, and when you know the entire world is watching and listening uh, to this game coming up, I, I, Rich and I can tell you, you know, we get goosebumps the size of softballs uh, during these games just because of how close, how dramatic a lot of these games have been here in recent years. Rich, what about you? I really go back, if there's a memory, it's got to be 2016 when Army broke the streak over Navy after Navy had won 14 straight years. Ooh. And I'll tell you what, all the wins over Navy are special, but there's something really, really special about that one to me because it'll never, something like that, you know, odds of that happening again are, are slim to none. So every year's special memory when Army wins the game, and hopefully that happens again Saturday. Okay, hope, hope well, I can't say that actually, right? I don't want to... <laughs> get myself in any <laughs> trouble. Uh-oh, I might have stepped in it there. Uh, something special about the upcoming game is the USAA Recycled Rides Car Giveaway. That's been going on all year. What can you guys tell me about that? Well, in addition to the great rivals on the football field, they are going to reunite a couple of great rivals from days gone by here in the NFC East with Brian Dawkins and Jason Witten, former Eagle, former Cowboy, uh, getting together. But they're going to make a special presentation on Friday. It's going to conclude the 100 giveaways for the 100th year of USAA. They've helped so many veterans uh, this year reconfigure vehicles that these families need for special uh, needs for so many of our veterans. And they're going to present the last two vehicles, brand new vehicles, uh, to an Army veteran and a Navy veteran coming up here uh, on Friday as USAA throws incredible support behind this football rivalry, but also behind so many of our veterans who serve uh, boldly and proudly each and every day. Absolutely, such an important cause there. And uh, as we kind of wrap things up, anything else you'd like to add or even talk about the announcer rivalry that might be going on here? I, I get to see Pete every year here, and then we'll cross paths a couple times during basketball season. And 
I, you know, the rivalry, it's, it's all respect every day of the year. So I really enjoy catching up with Pete, and it's always good to talk sports with him off the air. All right, love that. And just let people know one more time where they can catch this game and win. CBS coming up 3 o'clock Eastern time on Saturday afternoon. All right. Thank you both for uh, chatting with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. And you can catch more information on this game in the hot link section on WNEM.com.